Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a relaxing extreme clean with me and a recipe that I put together that I'm absolutely loving. So stay tuned for all of the cleaning motivation today. I just recently got my Nespresso machine and I am loving it. I don't know what I was doing without it. I got it on sale, I was gonna say I snagged it. I always get made fun of when I say that, but I snagged it on sale from Macy's for like $160, so it was almost 50% off. And I got the little aerator with it, so I'm able to froth any kind of milk that I want. So what I like to do is I'll do the double Chiaro Espresso and then I will Add a little bit of sugar-free caramel and add some half and half. I showed you guys this in my morning routine the other day. If you guys haven't checked out my morning routine yet, for the end of summer, I will have it linked here for you guys. I'm loving this combo. Just put this new saying on my letter board. I think it's so true. And here I am getting to the dishes. Yes, we finally had the technician come over, check out our dishwasher, and the parts that we actually need are on order. So within the next couple weeks, I'm really hoping that this bad boy will be fixed because I'm so sick of washing dishes by hand. I've been doing this since like January. So I am just going to let you guys enjoy this video, clean with me, or just be inspired or motivated by this video. Peep some of the fall decorations. I have my leaves, wallflowers in my um, plugins right now, which is my absolute favorite. Otherwise, the sweater weather is a good contender. Um, if you guys are wondering what I sent my home with, but like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and find some inspiration today. For this enchilada casserole recipe, it was so easy. I didn't have any tomato sauce on hand, so I just blended up some diced tomatoes. That's just a little hack that I use or that I do when I don't have tomato sauce on hand. So I did a big can of diced tomatoes, added some tomato paste, and then also added just a little bit of rotel in there to give it a little bit more of a kick. And then I had some shredded um, chicken left over from um, like my meal prepping that I did earlier in the week. You guys saw that meal prepping video last week and I love meal prepping like chicken, just having chicken breast on hand for the next few days. Uh, chicken breast is good for at least three days in the fridge. So I will use it for casseroles and soups and things like that, but just adding some seasoning, paprika, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and some cumin. I always use like the 
like palm of my hand to measure out for about a teaspoon um, but like I said the recipe will be linked in the description box for you guys I highly recommend this if you like enchiladas um, you can also swap out for flour tortillas we used corn tortillas and then I also did an extra layer of corn tortillas on top just to crisp it up. But this was such a hit in the house. Everybody loved it, devoured it. And I am so excited that I found this recipe on Pinterest because it's just perfect for fall. And we love Mexican food in the house. So it's an, like it's like a double whammy um, fall recipe and it's a Mexican recipe. So highly recommend it. Again, in the description box for you guys. So I topped the enchilada casserole with some of my homemade chipotle sauce, which you guys can catch in my meal prepping video. I'll have that linked here for you guys. It's my secret chipotle sauce. Mike will literally put it on everything. It is so good. So I topped this casserole with that chipotle sauce. I put a little bit less in the corner um, for the kids because it is spicy. And then I topped it with some cilantro and fresh jalapenos from the garden and it was ooh, it was spicy but it was really good I did not put jalapenos on the kids slices for obvious reasons so like I said I highly recommend this recipe it is so yummy and warm on a cool fall night it starts to get cold really fast here in Minnesota which is so sad because lake season and summer is coming to an end I know that Fall does not start until September 21st, but it definitely is starting to feel like fall here. We may have a little bit of an Indian summer where it gets like warmer towards the end of September, but for the most part, we're looking at the 60s and like upper 50s towards the end of September. So that is a perfect recipe to warm up with during that time of year, along with some pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins, apple crisp, banana bread, all of the things that I feel are super fall appropriate. I do have a pumpkin bread recipe in my meal prep video, which I linked earlier for you guys, and I'll have it in the description. It is so good. I actually use pumpkin pie mix this time instead of pumpkin puree, because for some reason, all of the grocery stores in town are completely sold out of canned pumpkin. I guess I was a little late to the game, even though I got it like end of August. So anyways, just wanted to tell you guys that I tried the pumpkin pie mix and it worked just as well as the canned pumpkin for my pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffin recipes. I know 
So there were a few spots in my house that I noticed needed to be touched up with a little bit of paint. We actually were going to be having a photo shoot in our house the next day and I just wanted to kind of clean things up so that's why I cleaned the walls as well. Those get so dirty and my secret weapon for like crayon drawings on the wall and pen drawings on the wall is magic erasers and then some paint if I need it. Um, so I touched up this spot by the stairs. It definitely needs a little bit of um, like putty, but I didn't have any like spackled putty stuff around the house um, for this time anyways. Um, so I'm doing that and then I am also going to be hitting above the window because I did use the rest of the putty I had to fill in a couple of nail holes um, where I moved the curtains up and then I covered it up with a little bit of paint and this is just leftover paint that our builder had left for us for any touch-ups which is super nice because I do use it all the time. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can 
say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Alright you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this fall themed extreme clean with me and got some inspiration for cleaning and maybe peeped some of the fall decor. I will also have my fall decor video linked here for you guys. And I will see you guys in a couple of days for a, another really fun video which should be a mama day in the life, okay? Bye you guys.